amazing wine, how sweet the sound. Hi, I'm Adam. And this is episode one of Wine Junkie, a weekly wine video blog. I just can't bring myself to say vlog. Uh, about some really cool wines um, that we're featuring here at Savannah Bistro in Kennett Square. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Adam. I'm the general manager and sommelier at Savannah Bistro. I'm a certified sommelier, uh, certified by the Court of Master Sommeliers, um, and I'm a total wine nerd. I love wine. Um, I love drinking wine. I love talking about wine. I love teaching people about wine. Um, and so this is a great way that we're going to be able to do a weekly little session where we talk about some of the wines that we're going to be featuring um, on our Wine Junkie page of our wine list. Uh, so for me, wine should be fun. Uh, it should be approachable. It should be interesting. Um, it should not be snobby. Uh, and this is why I chose um, this really cool wine uh, for the first feature of this show. Um, this wine is produced by, I'm going to butcher all this Italian, but uh, Azida Sorelli. Um, so uh, it's a natural organic farm. Um, this is from a region called Cerisuolo. Uh, this is in the southwestern corner of Abruzzo, which is in central Italy. Um, I had the opportunity to go there a couple of years ago, um, and it was amazing. Just beautiful mountains and uh, forests and valleys. Uh, they do truffles there. They do um, saffron there and amazing wines and cheeses as well. So um, this producer in particular uh, take a lot of pride in letting nature do its thing. Um, they produce really cool, funky, natural wines. They do olives, uh, they do cheeses. They also uh, have uh, meats that they produce on the farm as well. So uh, the name of the Ooh. wine is, um, let's see if we can get this in here, uh, Sorella La Colina Biologica. It's my beautiful Italian. Um, basically means um, Sorelli uh, on the biological hill, whatever that means. Uh, this wine is made from Montepulciano, which is the prominent, uh, prominent grape grown in this region. Um, so let's get into the wine. Um, first of all, is this a rosé? Is it a red wine? Uh, honestly, I'm not really sure. Um, I think it's classified as a red, but it's super light. has this kind of orange, brown, pinkish color. Really cool, really interesting, super unique. Um, on the nose, guys, get your nose in there. When you guys are sniffing at the restaurant, it doesn't matter if you get a little wine on your nose. Like, get in there. Don't do this. You can't smell anything. On the nose, um, just really pretty, like candied cherries, a little bit of floral, like some little violets and things like that. Um, it just smells really vibrant, um, really zippy on the nose. Uh, let's give it a taste. Yeah. Um, first thing that hits me, this super bracing, juicy acidity. I mean, it's like a, a razor cutting your tongue. Uh, just super cool. Just bright, bright, bright. Lots of uh, red cherry, some cranberry in there. Uh, a little bit of like watermelon Jolly Rancher. Um, this kind of candied, tart, yet sweet at the same time. This wine is not sweet, by the way. It's nice and dry. Um, a little bit of herbaceousness on the final, on the end of it. Um, like mint, a little mintiness. Um, super light. It goes with anything that you would eat with like a light red or a rosé. Um, pork, we've got a great pork cutlet. Uh, chicken, grilled chicken on a salad, roasted chicken. Salmon, wonderful. Um, really drinkable. Uh, slightly chilled on a hot day, like today. Super hot today. Um, this wine is going to be available on our Wine Junkie page of our wine list for uh, the next week or so. Um, so invite everybody who's watching this, please uh, come out and try it out. Um, it's uh, it's a really cool wine, really fun, um, great end of summer, early fall wine, and um, just something super unique that you're not going to get in a lot of other places. So um, that's it. This is the Wine Junkie blog. Um, please like and share this video if you like it, um, and feel free to leave me a comment about the wine if you get in to try it or about the show. Um, we're going to be doing this weekly so um, it's going to evolve over time. We're going to have all kinds of like crazy effects flying in and music and uh, stuff like that. But for today, this is it. White in the background, wine in the foreground. What else do you need? 
Thank you guys for watching. Wine Junkie out.